Hi guys, welcome to Shop RJ Pacini for great deals on eBay. Today I'm going to do a sneak peek video and I'm going to go to my display area and show you the things I picked up. I would have done it yesterday, but I kept running back and forth uh, to the thrift stores. Uh, I went to one, I came back, and then I went to another one, and I came back home, dropped some stuff off, and I picked up a few items. I know it sounds crazy, but you know, that's what it's all about, right? So anyway, um, I'm going to go into the display area in a second here, but I just want to say to uh, the, all the new members that, well, I should say new subscribers that subscribe to me on YouTube, thank you very much. Um, I appreciate you, uh, you know, checking out my videos. And if you are new to um, my channel in regards to sneak peek videos, demo videos, and intro videos, my name is Rich Bassini. I do sneak peek videos and demo videos and intro videos, and I also do the reseller news as well. And I just wanted to let you guys know that <clears throat> for those who do uh, or are new to this channel and do follow me, uh, I do these videos for you, the potential buyers, to give you a little insight as to what I'm selling. I tell you, it's got its flaws, if it works or not works, it's got dings, dents, scratches, whatever it may be. And I do this to, you know, give you, you know, enlighten you a little and see what, you know, show you what's out there. Uh, and not only that, it gives you an opportunity to meet me, the seller, who you're going to deal with on a one-to-one -one basis. And I like to keep it that way. Um, you're not going to deal with a middleman. You're not going to deal with an associate or affiliate with mine and say, you know, if you were to message, if you did have a discrepancy with somebody or something that you purchased from me, um, you're not going to be messaging anybody but me. I am going to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. I stand by my business. Um, I, I take it very serious. You buyers are my number one priority. Okay, my job as a business founder or an entrepreneur, whatever you want to call it, is to keep you satisfied and happy with my service I provide to you. So, I mean, I hope uh, and, and hope and pray that if you did have any problems with anything in the past, future, or the present, <laughs> um, please don't hesitate to contact me and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, there are times I won't be able to answer emails right away because I do step out. Uh, I do have errands to do. I either run into the post office or the thrift stores or I got personal banking to do, whatever it may be. But I assure you, if you do leave me a message, I will respond to it, okay? And for those who do follow you, or if you are people that uh, just happen to hit this channel, um, I just I, I just wanted to state this here that sometimes I get comments as to uh, why I do these videos, or you know sometimes I get like little snide remarks about the items I just you know I, I do demos on, and I just want you guys to know to assure you that these videos are done with the purpose to help you out help you make a better decision uh, I also do it as you know to let you know the item that I'm selling is working if it's electronics or be whatever uh, if it's clothing or something out of the ordinary I'm gonna let you know about that item I like to do these the screen I like to do my demo videos and intro videos um, and the sneak peeks to give you guys a heads up and that's basically what the sneak peek video is all about folks uh, it's all for you guys to give you a heads up as to what's going to be coming out on eBay. Now, however, uh, I was able to get all the items I'm going to show you listed on eBay. Uh, I was up to like 1.30 in the morning last night, uh, East Coast time in New York here. I'm over here in New York. And uh, yes, it was tiresome, but you know what? It wasn't a lot. I'm not, not, I'm not looking for kudos or a pat in the back and say, hey, you know, you did a good job. But uh, it was my, you know, that was my goal to get those those items listed uh, as soon as possible. You know, I had to take the photos in the morning, and then by mid afternoon, uh, I was running around. Like I said, and by the time I went out sourcing and stuff like that, I ended up coming back. It was too late, and before you know it, dinner time arose, and it's like, all right, let me jump on it now. So that's why I was up so late doing it. Uh, with this business, folks, it's, you know, to me personally, it's like I eat, sleep, and breathe this business. Okay. My mind is always going. Uh, I know my kids, you know, we all get together at the dinner table. They, you know, we're sitting down talking, whatever. They, like, think, like, you know, they'll talk to me. And they might say, Dad, you know, did you hear what I said? Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard. Yeah, I know heard what you said. I know what you're saying. Yeah, I heard what you're saying. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You're thinking of something else. Your mind's wandering. And in some cases, that may be true. But it's, it's wandering in the right direction. And that direction is to be catering to you guys. You, you buyers out there or potential buyers mean the world to me. You're, you're my number one source. You're my number one uh, priority, okay? Uh, without you guys, there ain't no Shop RJ Piscini. There ain't no, 
you know, no business for me. There's no, there's no e-commerce. I'm not an entrepreneur without you guys. You're the ones that make it all possible. And, and I want you to know also that when I do these videos, it's, it's, it gives you an opportunity to meet who you're dealing with. And I hope by me doing this video presentation that you like who you're dealing with. And uh, without further ado, I just want to give that intro <laughs> uh, just to give you a little heads up to the new guys. But thank you and stand by. Please don't go anywhere. I'm going to go to the display area and uh, we're going to take it from there. Okay, so hang in there, guys. Give me one second to just set up over there and I'll be right with you. Thanks. Guys, I'm back. Here we go. Um, <clears throat> this is my little display area here and I hopefully I'm going to try to make it as short and sweet as possible, but I don't want to guarantee that. I don't want to make those claims I can't keep because my videos always do run a lot longer than expected. And I apologize. And I'm sorry. But I have to share this with you guys. I want you to know what I got. I want you to be the first to buy. I want you to like the stuff I have. So check it out and let's get started. First off, I have over here this heavy duty tripod. Now, here's the thing with this. It's pretty clean. It's pre-owned. And by the way, I'll let you know the stuff that's pre-owned and the stuff that's new, okay? There were, well, I'm not saying there's not that many new things here, but I will share that with you guys. Anyway, with this here, this is a heavy, well-constructed, it's got movable little base here. So when you put it on there, it'll, it'll, you know, it'll, it should stay nice and level, this thing here. It doesn't have a self-leveler on it. As you can see, some of them have self-levelers. This one does not have it. Okay. Um, it's called Hakuba. Okay. And if you're interested, it is made in Japan. Okay. I don't know if you can see that there. Let me see my, I'm looking at my webcam here at the same time here. So it says, it says over here, made in Japan. Very strong. Very strong. I mean, it's heavy-duty metal. Okay. Um, when you move this guy out, it's, it's, it's heavy. Uh, out of the box, well, I don't have a box for it, but I weighed it up. I think it's about close to seven or eight pounds, just to give you an idea. That's out of the box. That was, that's with no packaging. I think it's seven or eight pounds or something like that along that line. But it's got the, uh, the type that you, this is how you do it, folks. Okay. And when you tighten it up, it stays tight. But that's how it is. It's like that. Yeah. Very well, well made. But here's the thing. It has the quick release. It has the adjustment here to, so when it swivels, you can, you know, turn it this way. This will lock. And you got the crank hand here. So you can crank it up. Okay. Only problem with that is, okay, you see over here, I didn't realize that when I picked it up. It's missing the two things to turn this, to tighten this up. So if you, you right now, if someone was to buy this, you can't tighten it up. It'll stay in this position. Okay. This here, it's got a nice, it moves really nice the way it moves, like this here. Okay. So it's got that type of feel. I don't know, it's got glide one. It's like, it's really nice. It's a, and it's got the quick release. Okay. Um, it's spring loaded. You can see that there. That means anything to you professional photographers. It says this is for video. See right there, folks? It is a video. Uh, you probably could put a little 35 millimeter on it, but it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, this thing is this thing is sturdy. I mean, it's heavy duty. So if you guys are interested in it, just remember one thing. It's missing the rod to lock it in place. I don't know if there's two that go in there. I'm not sure. I think two might go in there. I'm not sure. You know, to clamp this up to make it stay in that position. See, right now you can't do it. It, rep it repels. It goes back. So just keep that in mind. Enough with this here, and uh, it's the HBA, HGB, whatever, 3S, okay? That's what we got going on. Very well made. Just keep that in mind. Very well made. Okay, moving right along. I picked up here, black always gets dusty for some reason. This here is a nice Sony. It's the Sony Dream Machine with the auto time set. Um, very nice condition, Okay. It has a little dinghy over here, and those who, who know, you know, who, who, if you are new to this channel, um, whenever I do videos, I like to explain everything to it. That's the whole purpose of a sneak peek video, too. Um, I like to just, you know, tell people what's going on with it, you know, what, like I said again, what's got dings, dents, or scratches, and I like to also talk about the description, you know, the, uh, the item itself. But over here, like I said, it has a little ding over here. You can't see it. Uh, it, it plays well. Now, I noticed, and I'm not going to say anything to the other buyer, you know, the other seller. But with these here, I found this out the hard way. Um, I had sold one of these once before, and 
you can't see it. It's in the picture. I have to hold this stuff because it's heavy. All right, I'll, I'll show you what these things are in a minute. Well, you'll know what this is, but I'm going to get this out of here for a second. Yeah, this is this is not a plug-in. This is all together, and I don't think they did it that way. Not that I know, but it's all the the wire is already attached. So this is not one of these you can attach. So just keep that in mind. Here's I guess an external antenna or some another base. I guess another antenna. This wire here, you see it. But I want What I really want to show you guys is it, it is a clean unit. Okay, it is clean. All right, it is clean. That's all my handprints on here. You can see it's pretty clean like that. All right. It is functional. Test it out. It works. The only thing is, folks, is right over here. Now keep this in mind. I got it in. The, I got it in the description as well. If you go to my listings, you'll see I have a pen pointing here. See one of these little things here, guys? Let me go up closer. You see here, on that side, that little pin stick, that little protrusion. On this one, it's missing. Okay, that's where your iPhone or iPad. Now this is probably for the older iPhone or I, well iPad. Okay, look at the connector just to get an idea. See it? All right, you see what I'm talking about? Now, what happened was I didn't notice. Okay, and this is an honest mistake. Okay, I, I'm, I'm usually very on top of these things, but I didn't. I didn't take notice of it. I thought it was a. That's the way it was. I guess for some reason I don't know. And I had sold one of these here uh, to a buyer. And they said it was damaged, but it's usable. And they said they wish it was in the description. Now, it was in the description. I did say it in the description when I, when I sold one like this. I think I sold an exact one like this. And I did say in there that one of the plastic pieces is missing. Okay. Now, if you look at some other people that are selling them, and I know you guys are going to shop around, which is it's a good thing. You know, you might not like what I have to offer. Maybe you might think, well, this is not for me. I don't want to buy this. Go for you, me, me and me. Uh, I'll buy somebody else, but just keep this in mind. If you do buy from somebody else, look and make sure both the, that that piece ain't broken because there's another seller selling the same one, and this is broken. Now, is it functional? Will the unit work if you put your iPad and iPhone in there? Absolutely. Okay, all it does is just lock it in there. Okay, and you're not gonna take it around with you. This is a pretty big thing, kind of well, big enough. I mean, you're not gonna carry this around. Well, pretty much wherever you leave it, if you leave it in your nightstand, well, you know, room or whatever you're your desk or wherever you're gonna leave it, you're not gonna leave it, you're not gonna move it around anyway. So if you put your iPhone and iPad there, it's gonna work. Okay? That's what the person said. It said it was damaged but usable. Okay? Uh, I didn't know that there. So just keep that in mind if you buy from another seller. If you don't want to buy mine and you buy from another seller, that's fine. Now over here with the lighting here you can see right one talk has a little dent here. Okay, you can see it right there. And you know folks, I do, when I do these these sneak peek video videos and demo videos, I don't do things to hide or anything. Okay, I'm not gonna I, I I'm not gonna take a picture and take it at an angle where you're not gonna see that dent. I tell it like it is. It's in the description. Okay, so uh, I'm an honest seller. Um, however, I didn't notice that was damaged when I sold it to the buyer, but I, I didn't know it at the time. Like I said, you know, to me, I thought everything looked normal. I didn't know, but it was an honest it was an honest mistake. But I want you to know one thing though. It was he he stated or he or she stated that it would have been nice if it was in the description, and it was. The buyer apparently didn't read the description fully, so what are you gonna do? There you have it, okay? This here goes with it. Now, if you do buy this, and you plug it in, and you turn on, you don't put this antenna in here, you're not gonna get no uh, stations. So please, if you buy don't say, I bought that radio off of you, that Zony Dream Machine, and it's not working. This has to be plugged in. I've tried it, I tested it out. That's the way it works. And this little plug, See here, that little plug, that connector. I gotta be careful because I'm holding this up at the same time. I don't want to damage this thing. Then it'll be worth, it'll be worthless. It will. It goes right in here. Okay. This little connector. Where is it here? If I can get it here. This little connector you see here. It goes right in here. Okay. So keep that in mind. All right, folks. Otherwise, it works great. But it won't work without this. You gotta have it. I I taped it up so it won't unravel. Keep it neat. Okay. All right. Enough with that. Now. Let's put this guy back so he don't get broken. I got another Sony Dream Machine. I keep it in a place because I don't want to get dirty or you know scratched or anything. But I will take it out for the demo purposes. This is a nice little Sony Dream Machine. It's clean. Has a little yellowing on top here. Okay, but very but it, overall it's clean. Yes, it does work. It's tested. I mean, I can't plug it in now because I'm doing a sneak peek video. <laughs> but it does work. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, very clean. It's got the battery backup. 
Um, okay, that's where that goes there. A nine volt battery goes there. And folks, batteries I don't always include in my in my the units or any of the items I sell. I use them for demo purposes. You know, I have to test them out and stuff. You know, so I can't give my batteries away. Else I'll be I'll be uh, short changed with batteries then. <laughs> and they, they can be kind of pricey though, folks. But anyway, that's what we got going on. And this is the Sony. This is another dream machine. It's the model ICF C112. Okay, if you like it, it's very small, compact. You know, nice little guy. All right, so we're gonna put him back in the bag to keep it clean. That's why I like to keep my stuff, folks. I like to keep it clean, all right? And uh, I like to take care of my things, especially if it's gonna be, eventually it's gonna become yours, right? Hopefully. <laughs> here I picked up a camera. Now, this here is a 35 millimeter camera. It is clean. However, folks, I was not able to, I don't wanna touch that, you can touch it with red. Um, I was not able to test it out. Now. The thing with this is, it is a clean, it's, got, it's just a camera, it's a 35 millimeter. There's no strap with it that comes with it, okay? And there's no fixed lens or a lens cap. I know now people probably say, oh my gosh, you're gonna get dusty there. What I would like to do is probably, when I wrap my, if I do sell it, when I do sell it, hopefully, uh, I'll wrap plastic around here just to keep the dust from going there, okay? I thought I had a cap laying around for it, I don't. Um, I put in the listing that I am, I'm, you know, I'm selling it, I don't know how much I put it in for, but I am selling it for a decent price, you know. Um, and I did put in a listing that I couldn't test it out because the batteries may be dead in here. Uh, and they take small little batteries, okay. You know, folks, if you do buy from me and you, you, know, you want to take a chance and buy something like this, I don't want you to think, oh, if I buy from this guy, you're stuck with it. You're not stuck with anything from me, okay. If you're not happy with it, send it back, all right. That's all I'm saying. You're not stuck with it. So if you see this camera and say, you know what, I like to take a chance with it, but I don't know. This guy is telling me he can't test that. It needs batteries. I thought I, had, I thought they took nine volts. When you're looking in there, wouldn't you think they were looking at it? Wouldn't you think they're two nine volt batteries? I did. I didn't know. People might say, "Well, come on, man, it's a camera. It's a camera." But look at the size of it. Wouldn't that look like it could fit a nine volt battery? I mean, a, a double A battery. Looks it to me, right? When I took it out, it was these little guys. Look how small they are. And I'm going to include them with them. They're actual Kodak batteries. They have the Kodak uh, insignia, you know, the label on them. So I'll show you right here. See? Kodak. Okay? I didn't know. Who knew? <laughs> you, you know, you're in a thrift store and you know, you, you're browsing around and it was proud, kind of crowded. There, people are walking around. So I, I usually take my time when I do these. You know, I search for you know, sourcing for good stuff. I, at least I think it's good. It is clean. It's not scratched. It's not damaged. You just don't think it's going to have a lens cap here. I don't, think you could, I don't think you could fix a lens cap here. Look, it's so smooth. I don't think you could fix a lens cap here. I don't know. I, I don't know. I tried I, I tried looking for one. I thought I had one right, laying around the house. I don't. And it's a 35 millimeter. And it's pretty clean inside. Uh, let's go here. Okay. It's pretty clean inside. This is not a digital, folks. 35 millimeter. Just to give you a heads up. Okay? So that's what we got going on with that. Let's put this back in the bag to keep the dust from going in there. All right. That's a Canon. That's the Canon Rebel... Uh, EOS uh, Rebel 2000. Okay, that's what we're going on. All right. Moving right along, uh, we'll get to that later. I got this here, picked up to see a little Minecraft. Okay, the Minecraft is a nice little item. It's a Stephen Horse. Uh, yeah, Stephen, yeah, Stephen Horse. Um, figurines. I don't know. I'm not really, I heard of Minecraft. I'm not really sure what it is. You know, a lot of things changed since my daughters were, and I, I didn't buy my kids, like, you know, these type of toys. But, uh, you know, they were back in there, Bobby dolls and stuff like this. But this is more like, I guess, a gift for boys or whatever. Who knows? Both, both I guess. But uh, this is brand new, as you can see. All right. Minecraft. And again, folks, the items I am showing you are listed on eBay at the present time. So if you see anything you like, please make your purchases as soon, you know, whenever you want. I'm just trying to say, but they all listed. So that's why I'm doing this sneak peek video. I usually do the sneak peek video first, and then I tell you the next day I'm putting them on. I'm doing it reverse. I put these on first. Now I'm doing a sneak peek video. <laughs> I know, right? Um, picked up this here. Now, this is a Sony Rita. Um, I put it up. I think I put this up. I, I can't swear to it. I think I list this for $100 with a best store for buying it now. This, folks, is brand new. I didn't even know Sony makes the Rita, to be honest with you. I love Sony products. I'm, I'm making a video on a digital camera. and I'm using a Digital 8 uh, Sony uh, digital camera here, and uh, I didn't know they had this. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not saying I was surprised, but I wasn't aware of it. Uh, I was with my brother, and he picked this. Up. He goes, "Hey, Rich, look." He goes, uh, "Sony Rita," because brand spanking new. Because what do you think? I said, "Hey, I love the Sony product. I'll buy it. Why not?" I said, uh, "It's sealed. It's sealed. It was never like this here. It broke over here. 
I guess that's when the person put it in the bag. But this is broken. But this unit with this item was never taken out of the box of the uh, packaging here. You can see it. It's brand spanking new. Uh, again, and everything on on that uh, eBay has best offers. Buy it now with best offers. So, folks, you like this? You like this? You want this Sony reader? If you like it, I have it listed for hundred dollars. But make a best offer. But make it reasonable, please. I had an item yesterday. <laughs> You know, I do videos. I did videos in the past about making best offers, and just I, maybe the person follows me. I don't know. And I had to list that thing listed for twenty bucks. The person makes a, a counter offer. What do you think it was for a buck? I declined it. <laughs> I automatically declined it. I said this is ridiculous. What an insult! Twenty bucks. I mean, it's cheap enough, and you you make a counter of a dollar. I just declined it. Okay. So if you, if you are interested in this here, keep in mind this is brand new, all right? Um, I know you probably said, well, there's other sellers out there that are going to sell cheaper, but you know something? I know they, I'm sure they offer a good service. I offer a good service as well, but you know what? Make the offer. You don't know. You might save, you know? Maybe the other sellers, not, I don't know. I don't know what the other sellers got on there. I don't know if it's pre-owned or whatever. I don't know. Some people have a pre-owned one, but repackage it. This is brand spanking new. Okay, so just keep that in mind, folks, if you're interested, Sony Rita. It's the Touch Edition, okay? All right, enough with that. Back here, let's go back here or we'll work our way this way. Back here, I got this nice Thomas Kincaid print, I guess, picture, whatever. <laughs> um, this is what it is here. You can see it. I, got my, I keep seeing my uh, tripod reflecting in it. You can't see it too good. I'm sorry about that, folks. I'm going to have to probably do it at an angle, I guess. Let's see, like that maybe. Um, you can see it there. It's a nice print. Frame is in nice condition, considering. Um, I think this is a 10 by. I don't. I don't want to make this. I have. I have it listed already there. I don't know if it's a 9 by 10, whatever. But I got the frame in there, and it also comes with the certificate of authenticity right there. See it? Uh, this is how I bought it, folks. I mean, uh, I don't know if anybody, if anybody did buy this here, if they're going to want this removed and separated. I don't know if it's glued on there. I'm not going to take it off. My luck, I'll rip it, and then it'll be worth. It. You know, it would really be useless. Um, and it also has over here, uh, right there, 2001. I don't know if that's when this was printed or whenever it was you know, put together. I don't know. But that's what we got going on. It's Thomas Kincaid, guys. Nice picture. You know, if you want to add it in your house, living room, I don't know, maybe you put it dining room, den. It's nice. Okay, and that's what it looks like. It's got the nice gold frame here. Okay, we got that going on. All right. Moving this way, I picked up this guy here. You know me, folks. I do the Hershey deal, or the Hershey uh, themes and Disney themes. And I got this guy here. Pretty clean guy. Hershey's milk chocolate. <laughs> he's too big for the he's too big for the camera to fit in. Um, it does have the Hershey label on there. If you guys are into Hershey. All right, I love their chocolate product. I love the milk chocolate. But anyway, if you guys are into it, this this stuffed doll is very clean, as you can see. Okay, pretty clean little doll. I had the, I had the measurements inside. I don't want to start throwing measurements out because I didn't I didn't bother taking my tape ruler. Uh, it's in there though. How tall it is, you know, from head to toe here. It's in there. So we got him going on. I'm going to move him to the side over here. He ain't going to damage anything. Okay. Here I picked up. I'm going in the back now. I picked up these two planes. Now these planes date back to 1979. They're brand new model planes. Okay, they're brand. I know it sounds crazy for 1979. You talk about vintage. You couldn't get any more vintage than this. I mean, these things are old. The box is a little disheveled, a little crumpled. Okay, but the contents in there are brand new, sealed, never open up. These ain't pre-owned. Even though the box is disheveled, folks, these are brand new, these, these, uh, this plane, okay? Um, I'm just trying to see where the date is on here, because I, I want to show you where I got the date from. Oh, here it is. Oh, wait. oh, yeah, right here, folks. Just to show you, so you know I'm not smoking mirrors here. Where is it? Right over there somewhere. It says 1979 somewhere, I think. Oh, right over here somewhere. Yeah, okay, I had to wait for it to focus in. And they're both like that. This one, too. You got two different planes. You got this guy here, same thing, same uh, same company, US Airfix, okay? And it's got the same uh, year on it, too, is what it is it here. I know I've seen it here. Oh, here it is, yeah. Uh, wait a minute. I'm just curious. I just want to make sure. Uh, 
Yeah, there it is. The same thing. Uh, 1979. I don't know if you can see it on there. So they're both from 1979. Okay. And you want to know the funny thing about these? Just a little quick story. These were purchased. These things were purchased in a store that my mother, God rest her soul, me and her used to shop at when she would, when I was younger, at Mays. Uh, if anybody lives in Long Island, New York, uh, the store is in Levittown. It has now become a thrift store. Um, that's where these were purchased. And the stick I took off it, well, actually fell off. It said from uh, in 1981. So it just goes to show you, but these were probably crafted or manufactured back in 1979, but the stickers that came off from, from Mays, and boy, that brought back flashbacks over there. I remember that store. Me and my mother used to always go there on the weekends, and uh, it was a nice store, but they're no longer there, and that's what these came from, from Mays. And again, the box is a little disheveled. It looked, like I said, a little crumbled up on it, but they're brand spanking new. So if you guys like little planes like this, all the, all the, these old type of vintage planes, you know, like I call them vintage, but models, vintage models, check them out. Okay, let's put this guy back here. Let's go with this guy here. I picked up this here. This is a nice HP nylon laptop bag. Again, I have the size for it. I think I, I think I do remember one thing. I believe this will fit a 16-inch laptop. Very nice bag, clean in and out. It's got the HP metal logo here. It's got the nice keys here, like this. You know the, uh, the buttons here. You know the uh, zipper. Things very nice. It's well made. I mean, you know, no rips on it from what I can see here. I like the way the handle, the handle interlocks, becomes one. Very comfortable. Very comfortable. All nylon. Um, it does have a strap. If anyone's saying, hey, is there a strap with it? Yes, there is a strap. I'll show you really quick. There is a strap in here. Uh, I took these things. They're, they're in here. These came with it. Um, I don't know what you're putting. I guess disc, you know, the CDs or whatever. And um, there was another one here. I don't know what you put in here. Maybe you put the maybe for your laptop you put stuff. I don't know. This is another one that came with it. And I know people are probably inquiring, where's that strap? The strap is right over here, folks. So it's got the strap right here. So it does come with a strap. Okay? Just to let you know. Alright? Um, so we got that going on. This is in like night like like new condition. I mean, you know, aside maybe a little dust in, but it, this thing is very clean inside. And if you're looking for a nice I have I have an HP uh, briefcase. I wanted to keep both of them. I said, what am I going to do with both of them? You know, unfortunately, I do like this one a lot. Uh, I like the idea it's nylon. So it's nice if you if you're going like in a rainy weather and stuff like that, where it's a little cold, you know, like a snow and stuff like that. At least it'll be well protected. Your laptop will be well protected. It's got that nylon. You know, it'll protect your computer. Well, I, I know there's a lot of laptop bags that will protect your computer. But I'm just saying, what I like is I like the way they made the way they crafted. The handle just slides in there, you know. It's nice. It's it's got a nice feel to it too when you're holding it, you know. Again, all my money. Very good, very good bag if you're into HP products. I love my HPs. Okay, moving right along. Um, now these clothes here have been washed. Now I just want to show you. This is uh, a war a head warmer. This is these. What I'm showing you these two, well, all the clothes I have been washed, but I just recently picked these up. Um, I, I washed in one of those, you know, those bags there that uh, protect it from getting damaged. All these, well, these three particular ions have been uh, washed, so they are clean. So um, if you get them, you don't really need to do anything, but uh, you can wear them unless you want to give them another wash. But they have been washed and they are clean. This is a woman's headband, uh, a head warmer. It comes from Claire's, of course. All right. So um, if you're into, if you, if you need a nice headband, you know, head warmer, and it snaps on, you know, that snaps its buttons on the back like that. Okay. And I have a little mannequin that I, I displayed it on. But I after I, dis, after I took the mannequin, then I threw it in a wash. <laughs> I, like to, I like to make sure these things are well kept. I like to you know, keep everything nice and clean. Here I picked up uh, another one here. This is Forever 21. Okay. You see it is Forever 21. It's a, it's, a, it's a girl's whatever sweat. Now this one's a sweat jacket, whatever. And they have over here for the U.S. Hold on, folks. U.S. It's, uh, it says U.S. Small. Whoops, there it is. See that US small right on top here. Okay. It's clean in and out. Like I said, it just got washed. And uh, it looks like to me, it looks like it's, it's a small, but it looks like it'd be a medium. Okay. You know, sometimes the clothes are a little, uh, you know, the size is like in other countries. Like, I'll give you an example. I used to wear Tommy Hilfiger clothes. Uh, I, I, I usually wear a medium or large. And the large was so big. The shirt, I, was, I had a pullover shirt, it was down to my, almost down to my, my, my waist, all the way down, you know, it was really big. I had to buy small. So even like me, I'm tall, like I'm not that tall, but you know, I'm like close to six foot. 
uh, that shirt was like coming down past, <laughs> it was almost down to my knees. That's how big the shirt was. So I had to buy it small. But anyway, for a small, this is small, but it looks like it could be, a, it looks like a fit a medium, you know. But this is a girl stuff, so, you know, the girl sizes are different, the sizes. Um, and it's got this here. It looks like you got a t shirt. It's, I don't know. I don't think the person on that stitched this in, it's professionally done, you know. Um, it's got like this white lining. I listed in the uh, in the listing too. It's got a white line stitched in it. And this, from what I understand, was done by the company, not by the person. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if that's how they make them, I don't know. But uh, that's it. That's what we got there. I don't know why they put that lining in there. I guess they want you to give that, that look like you got a t shirt on. I don't know. <laughs> It's, and it's not the whole thing either, folks. If you look at it, it's like stitched in right here. It's got like that fleece feel to it, nice soft. But yeah, it looks, I don't know, I don't know why the Forever 21 did this. I don't know what the purpose of this is, but whatever, right? Who could keep up with design clothes, you know, the way people dress these days? And then I picked up this here, well, this one here. Uh, this one here is uh, a hooded sweat jacket, I guess. Uh, nice condition, pretty nice. It's like a light grayish blue. I got to probably change it, because when I looked at it, I guess the lighting was poor. I put like a light gray, but I had to change it. it. Looks like a light blue. I have to change that listing right away because it is, it is uh, listed right now. So people can say light gray. It's light blue. Uh, anyway, it's got a hood on it, of course, as you can see here, and it is right here. Um, if it were me, I never even heard of this company. It says over here, if it were me, and then here's the size right here. Uh, if you can see that, extra small. Oops. Okay, and that's the, that's the shirt, if it would be extra small, see? Uh, that's a nice one, too. Okay, also, last but not least, here you see the Xbox 360. Uh, I originally had this on, I took it off eBay, and the reason why I said it was, because the person who gave it to me, I thought they said it's not working, and I put for parts not working. So what I did was I broke everything down. I took this off, whoops, I took the head drive and the hard drive off, right? I was gonna sell this separate. The power adapter, I was gonna sell separate. There was gonna be three things, this, this, and power adapter. And then yesterday I went out and I bought the video cables, okay? Because I wanted to make sure the person said, well, it you know, it, it, it does work. Because I thought he said, I thought the person said it wasn't not tested, but it does it does work. And the only way I had to be able to test it out is with the video cables. So I went out and purchased this. So I'm going to do a demo on this here, showing it works, talk a little about it, and then uh, we'll take it from there. But this is what's good. There's no controller though with it. I don't have a controller. I was trying to look for a controller yesterday when I was at the thrift store. I couldn't find one. That's what I was doing my band. So this unit does work. It does power up, and I'm going to show you that in a little bit. Uh, well, in the next video when I do the demo one. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. This is what we got. Be on the lookout, but it's already there. It's already listed, so check it out. And uh, I'm just going to close the video out, and I'll be right with you. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys. Well, that concludes the video, the demo video. I should say the sneak peek video on the items I have listed. If you are interested, again, if you are interested in any of those items, they are listed on eBay. Um, so please, and again, I can't express it more than enough here, please make your best offer. I have been accepting a lot of offers, and um, you know, you guys will never know unless you take that initiative, because I can't, I can't make that offer for you folks. <laughs> so you're going to have to do that thing there, and whatever you see on there listed, make it fair and reasonable, and you might get yourself a good deal. I mean, that's how I look at it. That's why I put it on there. I, I, I say best offer is welcome. Make an offer. Um, you won't know. I, I don't know. I think sometimes people feel funny making best offers, but I've been getting a lot of, I'll be honest with you, and I'm going to share this with you. I have been getting, making, the sales I have been getting, majority of them, well, a majority of them, were, were best offers. So um, if you guys don't take that initiative and, you know, make that best offer, you're never going to know. You're never going to know what, you, what you're missing out on. Like I said, some start, sometimes they get new stuff, brand new stuff. Like you can see that Sony Reader that was brand new. Uh, I have getting, I've been getting a lot of new stuff in the past, don't get me wrong, but I'm just talking with this particular lot. Uh, and I really like to move the stuff out as quick as possible. So the sooner you guys make those best offers, and the sooner I accept them, the sooner you'll have it, you know, uh, you'll have your merchandise. I offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, uh, no questions asked. All I say is when it comes to electronics, though, if, you're gonna, if you are going to buy that, that Sony Reader or something like that, I know it sounds crazy what I'm about to say, but I really would appreciate it if you can 
you know, make sure that's what you really want because if you open it up and you try it out, you say, it's not for me, and you send it back to me, now it's used. And I'm not going to get probably full value of what I paid for it. Um, I know, I know that sounds like a contradiction. You say, well, you offer a 30 day money back guarantee. I know, that's true. Um, I don't charge a restocking fee, but I'm starting to think maybe on that particular, on those particular items like that, you know, the, the electronics like that, that I should charge a restocking, a restocking fee. Um, I don't want to go that route. I, ha <clears throat> I haven't done it in a long, I haven't even, the, the idea of even phased me to do, uh, a, you know, a restocking fee. But I, I would hope that if you guys buy it, that you'll keep it and, you know, uh, you know, use it and stuff like that to do, you know, in good health, of course. But, uh, yeah, if, if you're going to buy something like that, please make sure it's something you want, right? Because I really, you know, once it's open, it, it's no longer new, you know. But, um, anyway, let me go do my video. I'm going to do, like I said, again, if you, if you, you do follow me, uh, you will probably see another video coming up shortly. I, I like to shoot the videos during the day because I don't like using the spotlight, you know, the floodlights and all that stuff on the stuff, uh, you know, and the items I do. Uh, videos for on uh, so you're gonna probably see one coming up again if you don't just if you're not interested in that Xbox I'm sure it's gonna pop up if you're a subscriber just delete it you know whatever <laughs> but I would love to have you guys as subscribers uh, and I would you know if you like what I do with the videos if you get anything out of you want to give me a thumbs up that'd be great I would appreciate it and if not I appreciate you guys just stopping by and checking out and like I said again I do these videos to give you kind of like a, a little formal or informal introduction as to who you're dealing with. And again, my name is Rich Bassini from shoprjbassini.com. I know the, uh, just in closing, I know those who do go on the uh, eBay and you're seeing Thrifty Warriors. There was an error with that there. I was going to have like a sub channel type of thing uh, uh, for uh, eBay. Yeah, for eBay. Um, however, once the time spans over eBay allows you to change your names every 30 days uh, it's going to go back to shop RJ Pacini for great deals so um, that will change again <laughs> I know people find by saying this guy can't make his mind up you know that was there on my part I'd be honest with you um, I thought it'd be a good idea but I said you know what I'm so my name is so established out there with that you know I mean I know I'm not I'm not afraid to jump into other areas or you know take chances or you know improve on, on an existing idea it's just that um, I want to have like a different, you know, I want to have like a different channel, like a different eBay platform, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I did register the name uh, with the, uh, what do you call it there, the domain name, the domain name is registered. So I probably will keep that name, maybe have another one, I got to see, you know. I just re-registered my uh, domain service, my web hosting. A company called 3ix and uh, very fair, reasonable price. Love the service. I have no problem with them. Uh, they charge you a dollar a month for hosting, and you get a whole bunch. I got the Excite plan because for a basic person like myself, that's you know still learning how to use the web, you know, how, you know the software, the website software, which I am still learning. Um, I think it's a good pro it's a good plan. It costs twelve dollars a year for hosting, and you get like forty gigabytes of space. So much. So much gigabytes of uh, bandwidth. You get. You got to look at it. Uh, I'll drop the link below if you guys are interested. It's called 3ix.com, and you could read the plans they got. Just remember what I'm using, just to let you, you know, give you guys a heads up. I'm using the Excite plan. That's more than enough space for me. Um, they do have phone numbers to contact them, but a lot of them like to do chat, or you could do it through. Uh, you open your. If you do have a problem, you do want to, which is very rare, for me, pretty rare in some cases. Uh, you could do it the live chat there. You could talk on the, um, you know, one on one on the, on the internet, of course. Uh, they're pretty good. I have no problem with the service. But anyway, guys, I'll talk to you in the next video. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye.